Hello and welcome to Worship Across the Diocese. My name is Julian Henderson and I'm the Bishop of Blackburn. And this week we have a focus on the area around Poulton and the Fylde Coast in the Diocese of Blackburn and the schools there, the children, the parents, the teachers and the governors. And at this time of year we remember and celebrate a very special gift that God gave to his people. Jesus had just left his followers, or perhaps more accurately, had been taken from them. And they were so disappointed. They had great hopes for him and for his future. And they were confused. How on earth were they going to carry on and do as he had asked them to do? And they were afraid. If that was how Jesus was treated, then what was it going to be like for his followers? And they were full of fear. Well, our situation today is, is rather different. But in our schools, we have all sorts of values that we seek to follow. And as we look at those, it's very hard to say, how on earth am I going to be able to live like that and to make sure that those are true of me? And that's where this very special gift of the Holy Spirit is so important. And as those first disciples waited, and they waited, and they prayed, as Jesus had told them to do, something very extraordinary took place and happened. And my wife, Heather, now will read the story from the Lion Storyteller Bible. Jesus told his friends to wait in Jerusalem, to wait for the helper he promised to send them. So they waited. They waited and they prayed for 40 days. And while they waited, the streets of Jerusalem began to fill up with people from every land. People from the north, people from the south, people from the east and people from the west. People from all around the world who'd come together to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Jesus' friends were in an upstairs room when suddenly some surprising things began to happen. They heard a wind blow harder than the fiercest storm, but nothing was blown about. They heard the flickering of flames. They watched tongues of fire lick and lap and land on their heads, but nobody smelled of smoke. And then the helper came, the Holy Spirit, and he filled them all with the presence and the power of God. And what they heard next was talking, strange words pouring out of each and every mouth. So they rushed outside, eager to tell the crowd what had happened. And now suddenly everyone could understand. People from the north, people from the south, people from the east, people from the west. People from all around the world. For now, Jesus' friends were able to speak in foreign languages, languages that they'd never learned, all because of God's Holy Spirit. What better way to tell the world about Jesus? So what's all this about? said a man from Spain. That's amazing, said a woman from Africa. Oh, tell me again, asked a man from France. But there were others who thought Jesus' friends were talking nonsense. <laughs> These people are drunk, one man shouted. It's nothing but a load of gibberish. And that's when Peter stood up. Peter, who had been with Jesus from the start. Peter, the fisherman. Peter, who had never made a speech in his life. Listen, everyone, he shouted. We're not filled with wine. We're filled with something else. God's Holy Spirit. Many years ago, a prophet said this would happen, that God would send his spirit to help not just his special people like prophets and kings, but everyone. This has happened to us today and it's happened because Jesus, who died on a cross, was brought back to life by God himself and now sits beside God in heaven. 
It was Jesus who sent this wonderful gift to us. Jesus, the special one we've been waiting for all these years. Jesus, who was put to death by you. The people were sorry for what they had done to Jesus. What can we do, they cried. Tell God you're sorry, said Peter. Let him wash away all the bad things you've done and you will receive his Holy Spirit too. So that's what the people did. 3,000 of them. They told God they were sorry. They were baptised and they were filled with God's Holy Spirit. People from the north, people from the south, people from the east, people from the west, people from all around the world. Well, that's a great story. But I hear you all say, that was a long time ago, Bishop Julian, and it was all in another part of the world, so it's not really relevant to us at all. But did you spot that it was people from all over the world, from the north and the south and the east and the west, who heard the story of Jesus in their own language? Jesus' spirit is a gift for all people, whatever background, culture, colour of skin, education, or where we live. If we receive that gift, it's a gift for all. I've got here a little simple illustration of a glove and some uh, utensils that need some washing up in my sink here at Bishop's house. And uh, this glove, without a hand in it, is absolutely powerless. It can't pick up the knife or the fork or the plate. It can't wash them and clean them and put them on the drying rack at all. So it's quite powerless as a glove. But if I were to put my hand inside the glove, like that, then I can pick up the knife and the fork and the plate and I can do the washing up that is necessary because the hand is in the glove. That's a very simple and small illustration of our lives. We are like a glove and we need that Holy Spirit of God to come and dwell in us, to enable us to do the things that we cannot do by ourselves. That's the wonderful promise that is ours here as we remember this uh, Pentecost time, the gift of the Spirit. As we allow him to fill our lives, then we can begin to do what pleases him. We can want to worship him and bow down before him. We can have courage to witness to him and live out those school values in our own lives. And that can be true in the area around Poulton, on the far coast, across the diocese, and also around the world. People from the north, the south, the east and the west are offered this wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit of God, if we will but receive him. Let us finish with a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the story of the gift of your Spirit to your first disciples. Thank you for that same gift available to us and to all people today. And we pray for your Spirit to fill our lives and for him to spread through our witness the story of your death and resurrection in the Poulton area and around the diocese. And we ask this for the honour and the glory of your reputation in the world today. Amen. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.